I don't know if you can hear that. We got owls hooting. Oh my goodness, look at the moon, right? Look at this moon. <laughs> ah, it's the camera. Nikon Coolpix P900. I do have Sammy with me. He's keeping quiet. He's staying quiet, though. Crazy stuff. Okay. We'll do this again. So mail day, I'm gonna do mail day. And while we're doing the mail, I need to talk to you a little bit about what happened at the river, right? Oh my goodness. Uh, of course, there were some things that I realized hindsight. It always seems to happen in that way because there's so much going on there. I get so drawn into the energy and the excitement and that, oh my goodness, that vocal. I couldn't even find any words to say anything uh to come out of my mouth it was crazy uh and it was for those i may i might put a a bird's eye view or possibly a satellite image if you were to look at it from above it, it's kind of in a horseshoe the river kind of comes from the south and it, it kind of meanders north and then it does this this horseshoe rate where right into that area where I'm walking. I, that roar, his vocal, I believe it was a big, one of the males there, the larger male. Chris, where I seen something. Whoa. It, it didn't seem like even a quarter of a mile away from me. Uh, it was close and it wasn't up high. It seemed to be like earshot level, right? I, eye level it was, it was so loud oh my goodness but sasquatch right uh that's this is real stuff this is real but anyway we'll talk a little bit about that as i do the mail i believe i have six pieces of mail to open up so i won't waste any time we'll get into that because as we get into the mail i get talking and looking at everything in the box and i get kind of excited about it right so but i do i'll try to I'll try to walk and chew gum at the same time and I am using a shotgun mic today I'm not using a lapel mic so I want to see how this works. So I'd already took in there was a wrapper on here and um, I swan like Bigfoot and we'll get in there I haven't went into the box yet so okay here we go here we go let's see oh we got a note we got a little note I'm gonna I, I'm I'm going to read the note first. I always get ahead of myself. Let's do that first. Let's do this first. Okay. Okay. Um, hello, Robert. From the state of New Hampshire. Looks like we found you right when things are really getting excited for you. Finding the footprint. Stephen here, along with my wife, Michelle, and Coda. We'll be following the journey. We'll be following the journey you're on. Glad we found you sending two pins and a flute bag. Be safe, Robert, Stephen, Michelle, and Coda. Hello, Stephen, Michelle, and hey, Coda. 
<laughs> Sammy says hi. Uh, that's a, I like Coda. Coda. Okay, here we go. A little nice little box right here. Okay. Uh, I got my fireplace going. I actually wished I had a fireplace in here. I love wood heat because that's what we grew up on. We had wood stoves and fireplaces growing up and and a lot of time in the bush, right? A lot of time in the trees and the trap line with my dad and the trapper's cabins. And it was always wood heat. And I noticed when we switched over to natural gas and then even people that use propane or electrical, um, electric heat, uh, thermal heat and stuff like that, or natural gas, nothing warms the body like wood heat. It, it, it penetrates, it warms you right to the bone. And everything else seems to warm you from the surface. It's a different, it is different with the wood heat. Um, I love it, I love it. Uh, one day, well, I'm gonna go back to my fireplace and my wood stove. <laughs> oh, did he say there was two pins? Two pins in here. Oh yeah, there we go. That's nice. Yeah, sure. Aw, that's good. It says Bigfoot. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Your pin is going with me into the trees. Oh my goodness, right? Uh, my, just my last trip to the river. Uh, like I said, it was a spontaneous trip, right? And I just grabbed my coffee, my wallet, and my camera, and off I went. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't, <clears throat> I forgot my flute, my backpack, measuring tape. I could have measured the tracks that had come onto in the snow. Still think it was a mom and a baby. It was a mom and a baby. Um, oh, what is this? <gasps> the flute bag. The flute, oh, very nice. Yeah, I could. I didn't. I didn't pack anything. And like I say, I could have had a measuring tape to measure the tracks. I estimated the little one was no. Well, I would say maybe uh, eight inches, eight or nine inches in length. The little one and the bigger one. I, I it was. It looked about to be about twelve or thirteen inches long. Um, yeah. See, if I would have been thinking. I would have had the measuring tape and all that stuff too. Oh wow, that's nice. <gasps> oh my goodness. Uh, Stephen and Michelle, did you make this or did you buy it? I'm curious. I'm curious, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Very nice, right? <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Your pin is on the backpack or my flute bag. Uh, I may put some pins on this flute bag. The next box. There were a few things I missed, and thanks to some of you, you guys pointed them out and shared the timestamps with me because, again, I do miss. I miss quite a bit when I'm going through that. When I'm trying to put it all together, I kind of rush through. I shouldn't rush through, but I want to, I'm always, I'm always wanting to get something up for you guys, right? I don't. I I do sometimes rush through the editing process and get that video put together so I can get it to you guys at a in a timely manner, right? In a timely fashion. Um, I hear a motor. I think there's a tractor going by on the road. Okay, oh good, oh, that come flying out. Go to the letter, and I'm learning. <laughs> I am learning. To Robert, see you in the trees. I hope the mail never stops. Even if it's just, you know, one a week or something. I, I don't mind, I just, I enjoy so much the mail. Let's see, what do we got going here? Okay. Read 
my goodness, I will almost do it again. This pretty little card, Constellations, I believe. Constellations on there, okay. Dear Robert, thank you for taking us on your walks. Nature is my happy place where I live. I get few chances to get out into real woods. I appreciate your time and effort. You are on such an interesting journey with your Bigfoot clans. Chance of a lifetime, really. Enjoy. I actually live downstate Michigan, but bought this pin in the upstate, pin in the UP, I believe that's what that says, where many people see Bigfoot. I've also enclosed Potoshi Stone. Potoshi Stone. Oh, there's more. There's another envelope here. Petoskey, Michigan Buffalo. Uh, far from, far from North Dakota. And blue jay, and bluebird, and blue jay feathers from my altar. Good vibes to you and your sisters and your wonderful families of Bigfoot. My best, I almost, my best, Jane. I almost forgot on treasured sea biscuit from the Bahamas. Huh? Okay. All right. Let's go in. There we go. I see some feathers. I see some feathers. There we got the pin. Is that the better half of Michigan? I can see that. I'll put that up there. It has an actual... That's crazy. That's amazing. A turtle pattern. Like a turtle shell. Tiny blue bird. Blue jay feathers. If that was all in one piece, it is no longer. Um, but I do have, there's a few pieces here. I don't know, maybe I could glue them. Maybe I, I, I'll try to glue them back together. Oh my goodness, thank you Jane, your pin is on my backpack. Thank you very much. This one, Cinder Castle, Mains Farm, Cottages, Duns. I love letters. We don't, you know, we don't do that enough. Letters, penmanship. That may, hopefully, that don't disappear. That's it. Would just be such a sad. A sad thing to see um, writing letters writing letters snail mail you know if something was to ever happen with the technology say if we were to get some kind of solar flare burst or something and knock out all electrical this is what we do right okay where am I here okay to Castle Mains Farm to Castle Mains Farm Cottage is done. Dear Robert, thank you for all your hard work to put out your amazing videos. Your channel is the best. Robert, I am not sure if you received my little package with three photos of what's around my home and beyond in the trees. I also sent a Scottish pin. I did ask not to read that letter out, but this is fine. It this, but this is fine to read out if you desire. I have wanted to comment on your channel, but don't wish to start a channel up. Also, because I live in the UK, I can't message you on Facebook. Grr. <laughs> so it, so it old fashioned pen and paper. I'm just talking about that. Over the last few weeks, uh, end of September, beginning of October, I've had wood knocks from the wood beside my house the wood is a long strip which follows the road down to the main road in the middle of the woods as i heard some noise down there actually they move a lot through through the burn as i have found an x and large and large stones and other glyphs on more than one occasion i've had wood knocks as i have been putting the washing out on the line. 
uh, <clears throat> as I've been putting the washing out on the line, I love that too. My mom's even, you know, just, we still, a lot of stuff we hang outside on the line, right? Fresh air, it's just, it's such a good smell on your, whether it's your bed sheets, your pillowcases and stuff like that. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, and just stepping out of into the back garden, I didn't pay too much attention at first as wood knocks around were as wood knocks around where I live is quite normal, but this felt different as though it was as though it was saying I am here. So when I had time, I popped into the wood. I popped into the woods and there were so many new structures, stick leaners, small and large branches bent down with and large sticks had been put on them to make a screen as though to hide themselves. It looked so different to what it had looked before. Footprints in the moss around 13 to 14 inches, which I have seen most around about. Well, a few weeks ago, I went for a walk. It was around five in, an, it was around five in the afternoon. Just walked on the road past a big beech tree. When there was, <clears throat> when there was movement, I took a side to the left and stood still. I saw its side and arm. I bent down to have a look and it's only four feet away. I said, hello, and, and walked along the road. It must have gone down to the burn, which runs, runs into the middle of the wood as I heard some noise down there. Actually, they have a lot through the burn as I have found a large X on a large X and large stones and other glyphs. So that was that for that walk. But just two days ago, I went up for a walk with the farmer's sheepdog as they asked me to look after it while they were away. Well, on this walk, I heard a very clear vocal. It made me stop and look across into the trees. I actually thought it was calling me. So I continued to walk with Hector and I think it continued to watch us as we went along quite a ways and I stepped into the wood and I stepped into the wood, which is now into the castle estate. There was a lot of structures, etc., and I heard footsteps walking away. The dog ran out of the woods so fast and stayed close to my legs. That's always a good indication, you know, I think dogs know. They just get it, they understand. Okay. I often feel sick, even some of the, I often feel sick, even some of the structures give off a strange vibe. Sorry I waft on a bit, just wish I could WhatsApp or send you video clips when I am out. When I am out. Never mind, hey? Thank you again for your lovely approach to the wild man. Please send my love to your sisters and Sammy. Also, this letter has gone on too long. It hasn't. I love letters. You have probably fallen asleep. Ha ha. I just ask if you could just acknowledge you have received this long letter. That would be great. Keep well. Stay strong. Love, Judith. P.S. My husband has seen some strange lights outside our bedroom window at night. We sleep upstairs. Kind of strange, hey? I don't, you know, I, there's, I, we do too. We see strange lights and orbs and, and all sorts of things like that. I, I think they're somehow connected to the Sasquatch, to the Bigfoot. I am 99.9% that they all go along together with each other in certain areas because the, we, we see them, right? We see them all the time. Well, Judith, thank you very much. It was a good letter and no, I didn't fall asleep. <laughs> I did not fall asleep and I appreciate it. I think what you could do, you could email pictures and you could email video, video clips and um, before I get into this next one, uh, you can all recall when I went to the river's edge to film across the river and up into the cliffside and with the new camera and Right when I got there, all of a sudden, the ravens were over at my truck. Wow, they're at my truck. Huh? 
I'm gonna film over there too. They're right there, those ravens. One I could have swore was on top of my truck. And I thought from where I was standing, it's quite a distance to my truck, right? And I, I should have turned my camera around and, and zoomed in. That's what I should have did, but I was just kind of uh, just thinking it was a raven because it, it looked like something on top of the roof of my truck. And I just made the assumption that it was a raven. You know what? Hindsight, right? I get home and I see all the handprints and finger smudges and fingerprints on, on that side of my truck. I think that may have been what I thought was the raven, something on top of my truck, was an actual head of one of the Sasquatch on, like, just on the other side of my truck. I made the assumption that it was one of the ravens, and it very well could have been the head of one of those Sasquatch that were over there. I, I'm thinking that's what happened, because like, like, like I said, that was quite a distance. I couldn't see exactly. But I seen the movement, right? I see, and I just made the assumption. Oh, the ravens landing on the top of my truck. <laughs> but no, nope. uh, I think it was. I think it was the Sasquatch. They tagged my truck, right? They had to have done it at some point there, and I'm thinking that might have been when they did it. All right, Reed Roberts, Reed, feel a pin. Oh, good. Here we go. Let's read the letter. Oh, a paper clip. I haven't seen a paper clip forever. So I'm really hoping this shot mic is doing the job. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is another one from the UK. Okay. Oxfordshire. UK. Hope you read my writing. Dear Robert, at the last... A pin from Oxfordshire for your backpack. I love the way you relate to the Sasquatch. So many people seem to be afraid of them, but so far as you have portrayed them, they seem to be gentle, <clears throat> noble beings, albeit immensely powerful in spirit as much as physically. I love them. Me too. I love them. I, I am convinced that they once lived here in the UK. I think you still have them there. Um, I really do and I say that because I've had some subscribers sending me Bigfoot tracks prints and they're huge and they're in the UK along with structures and uh, I think they're still there um, I think they are still there okay when it was largely forested and and that there may be still some yes uh, pockets of resistance in the far north of Scotland and possibly Wales. I, I remember as a child riding my pony in the woods near my aunt's cottage in Sussex when everything suddenly went very quiet and the air felt strange, almost thick, yes, almost thick. I felt my hackles rise at that point, my pony spooked, spun, and whizzed back up the trail. Not a Sasquatch, I'm sure, but I think the little people were there mm. and didn't want to be disturbed. There are worlds and dimensions all around us that we do not know about or only catch glimpses of. I agree. Keep up the good work, Robert. Love what you are doing for the forest people. Lots of love. And see you in the trees, Tessa. P.S. The pin has meaning. The white lines are the river, are the river Isis that runs through Oxford City. The I mean, I better look at the pin. Oh, here it is. All right, I got to show the pin here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she says, uh, <clears throat> the white lines are the river Isis that runs through Oxford City. The bull, sorry, slippery pen, the bull represents the original reason that the settlement existed in the first place. It was a ford across the river where I'm thinking drovers could take their oxen. You'll have to correct me if I read that wrong. 
the wheat sheaf, which is there as well, and the apple tree, yeah, stand for the crops we still grow here in Oxfordshire. Wheat, apples, wheat and apples. Thank you very much, Tessa. Your pin is on my backpack. I'm gonna go out into the trees with me very much. I hope I didn't uh, uh, <clears throat> butcher that letter. <laughs> you said slippery pin. That's funny. A slippery pen. So far, we've not had the snow yet. Um, and I'm hoping, uh, today is Thursday. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, weather pending, that this weekend, either Saturday or Sunday, if, again, if weather pending, I need to get to the WBBC to go see Koi and get that started. Um, I've been working on what I'm going to do and what I'm going to take to him and what I'm going to take as gifts. And I've been planning it out. I've got a plan. Let's see. Before uh, Denise. Is this from Denise? Denise in Kentucky. Again, I read. Read the letter. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at this penmanship. Denise, this is good. This is good penmanship, my friend. All right. Hi, Robert. I hope this letter finds you and Sammy doing well. Encloses a pin from my home state of Kentucky, representing my hometown's 4th of July celebration. I have been wanting to send you a pin since you first asked people to start sending them to you, but I couldn't find one I liked. The small white star represents where I live. The way the Bigfoot relate and show themselves to you is nothing short of amazing. It's obvious that they trust you. My husband and I, <clears throat> my husband and I love watching your videos and can't wait to see what you will capture next. This pin is being sent to you with nothing but good thoughts, love, peace, and harmony. See you in the trees, Denise. AKA Denise from Kentucky. Uh, Denise G from Kentucky. Thank you very much. Okay, I need to look at the pin. What did you say? The star. The white star represents where you live. Oh, wow. Okay. It's very tiny, but it's there. I see it. I could see it. There it is. Kentucky. Kentucky, Denise, Kentucky, you're going on my backpack. So I want to do a little quick shout out to Doreen. Doreen, um, um, she sent me a box of, she's stocking me up with Bigfoot treats and uh, all kinds of goodies. And she's also sent me a, a another backpack. I want to again say thank you to Lisa. Uh, she was the one who got me the camera. Um, but she's also sent me also another backpack and I'm using, she sent me one to put the, the new camera and all the equipment. Uh, you got all kinds of extra pieces that went along with the camera. She sent me a, a small little backpack to put all my camera gear in there. It goes with the camera. So again, thank you, Lisa. It sometimes overwhelms me because I, this is no I never expected uh, things to things to go to this um, place along this journey I you know when I first started the channel it was just to get the story out there I because we believed we had another side to this this whole subject right this whole uh, Bigfoot experience that everybody seems to be having and uh, ours has always been different it's always been um, peaceful spiritual um, nothing near to the majority of the stories you hear out there you know I, I can't I can't answer for any of these other people I can only tell you what we know and what you know I base everything based on my own personal experiences right that's all I can do so um, and I'm just so grateful for all of you that have 
come on board that have subscribed that have got involved and jumped on board even with the pins and sending letters and helping me out with equipment and my membership i do have the membership oh my goodness it's just amazing and i think i have the best subscribers in the world <laughs> do i think i really do i think so oh my goodness it's true okay last but not least but still there's a couple other uh, shout outs that i want to do and i will get to them in another video uh and a couple of uh, ones that i promised i would do for them i will do that as well so hang in there stay tuned okay wait i better not jump into this yet let's see where is this coming from all right hmm. maybe there's a letter in there hopefully if not um Hey, what is this? Mountain berry granola. Wholesome granola and rice milk with strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. 13 grams of protein per pouch. Wow, very interesting. Who sent this? Oh, there's something here. There's a card or something. Uh, very interesting, right? I've never seen anything like that before. Ah, this card. Robert, there's a card. Oh, and a pin. Yeah, so so I'm thinking, I am thinking, another gifting site. I have another bowl. I have two, actually. A smaller black one and a larger uh, one similar to the one that I have here in my yard. Um, so I still have two more bowls that I could set up if I needed. And I think, I think that I get such a feeling of playfulness. And there were some people like when you hear the Sasquatch vocals, when they roar like that, the camera and the microphones don't really do it justice, but it didn't. The whole entire area just will vibrate. Like it's just, it's just so loud and so big. Like the sounds are big. They're huge and they just seem to take up the whole entire environment that you're in. Um, but that's a normal, that's, that's normal. A lot of people hear that and I, you know, you can tell a little bit about the individual that's hearing them be based on their comments or based on their reaction response to it. Cause some will think that that's a bad sound or that's scary. Um, and they will comment, you know, they'll make the comment, uh, were they mad or you know, because that was like, that was the big male and it sounded very aggressive. But they do, their vocals do sound ordinarily very aggressive. Yet they're not being, he's just vocalizing his presence, right? Uh, I've heard them when they're angry and this is not the same. It's uh, something you just don't want to hear. Not angry at me, but I, we've heard them fighting a few times. Like once was the very first Bigfoot encounter that we had and I was four years old. That was, they were, we still believe there was two groups or either two males battling and it was the craziest and scariest thing you want to hear. These kind of vocals that I'm picking up and the, you know, the hoots and the whoops and the, the kind of the big roars that they do, it's very normal and it's very much their, what they do, the sounds that they make. Um, I don't get any danger or threatening feeling from them when I hear them. There are certain vocals that they make, like the one, and I believe it was Koi up at the White Birch Clan when he did that infrasound grunt at me. Uh, that kind of roar, that's different because they direct, they direct it right at you, at your body, right? And that's different. That one makes you want to back up about three, four steps and... Um, Oh my goodness, look at this. Okay, I better quit rambling on here. Wow, look at this card, it's three-dimensional. This is amazing, just amazing. Look at that, I don't know if you can tell, but that's, that's actually on the card. Quilling card, very nice. Robert, thank you so much for sharing your Sasquatch experience. See you in the trees, Ellen. Ellen. 
Let's see, and there's a little bit of a letter here. This is Quilling Cards. Very beautiful. Oh my goodness, that's a beautiful card. Okay. Uh, there is a note. There is a note. A letter. October the 20... October 22, 23. Hello, Robert. I have just discovered your YouTube channel and I'm writing to thank you for the fabulous Bigfoot content that you are providing. My favorite things that I have seen on your channel so far are the tooth as a chalkboard. Mind blown. The faces in the rainbows and the baby in the totem pole. I especially appreciate your respectful approach and interactions with these fascinating beings. You are representing humans in a beautiful way. Also, your videos provide us with opportunities to expand our awareness of other kinds of beings and possibly other dimensions entirely. I also appreciate the peaceful way that you present your material. No scary music or special effects. I live in a city and your videos provide a strong sense of being immersed in nature. The sounds of the birds, the wind in the trees, the river running are so soothing to the city dwelling psyche. Your videos are riveting without raising my blood pressure or lowering my vibration. Enclosed is a small snack for you to enjoy or share. Also enclosed is a pin. It is so cool of you to let us enjoy the adventure by sending a pin to represent us. Thank you so much for that. See you in the trees, Ellen. Seattle, Washington. Seattle, Washington. Very, very, thank you very much, Ellen. Very good. Very good. Again, thank you all very much. And still, if there's anybody that wants to send me some pins or a pin or just a letter, um, I will read your letter. And um, of course, you would have to give me permission. Let me know if you don't want it read or if you want it read. I have had letters sent to me that I haven't read to to you all because they they just were personal to the individual. And I honor your wishes, right? I honor everybody's wishes. So, and um, yeah, pretty amazing, pretty amazing. So yes, stay tuned. As far as I know, and my like I say, my next trip and my next plan is to get to the WBBC up to the White Birch Clan and uh, I'm kind of excited about that I'm kind of nervous a little bit nervous not overly but I do want to I'm going to try to connect with that group before I get there and it's difficult to explain how to how I do that but I do it as I'm driving in there and it's it's more just you know um and you're just pro projecting the thoughts. And I really believe a lot of times they know I'm coming before I've even made the decision to go. It's very weird how, how that happens. I don't know how that happens or how they're able to know, but they, they seem to do it. There are times where I've even stopped in a random spot in one of these locations just to stop because I seen the structure and I've opened my door, went to walk and I've heard a whoop, right? like. What are the odds that right where I stop, there's a whoop? Uh, and then, I mean, that kind of sets the stage for the rest of my visit. But I will leave it there. Again, thank you all for being here. Again, if there's any new subscribers, I, I am so grateful and thankful that you're here and that you subscribed and I hope you stay. And I'm so excited about the journey forward, going forward, right? Because I... I mean, look where we've come just in the last three, three years, four years. It's just been just amazing. It's been amazing. But for me, I'm grateful to the clans because they don't have to come forward. They don't have to have anything to do with me. They don't have to even let me know they're there. None of it, but they are, right? And that's, that says everything. That speaks volumes. All of this because I, again, if they didn't want me to have anything to do with them, we would be having nothing to do with them, right? It would just be that way. So this is pretty amazing, pretty amazing. These Sasquatch are awesome. They're amazing, they're beautiful. And we need to start looking at them in that way and respecting their species. Uh, and humble and kind will get us a long way, right? It'll get us a long way. It'll get us a lot further in understanding them as a species and what they are and how they are 
connected to us because I really believe they are connected to us in many, many ways. Again, everybody take care, stay safe. I'll see you in the tree. Bye for now.